Joe, have a seat. Oh, finally. It sounds like you're feeling a bit frustrated. Dr. Miller, I've been waiting for over two hours. Mm-hmm. Look, when I called this morning, I explained to your receptionist that I needed this refill right away. Mm -hmm. She said you didn't do refills over the phone. I said, fine. But I explained about my busy day, and could she give me any idea as to whether you were running behind? She said she had no idea. She was completely unhelpful and rude. So it sounds like you didn't get the straight answer you were looking for. No, I didn't. All I wanted was a little information as to when and how long you were going to be. So I could make a decision. Should I stay or should I go? As it is, my son had to catch a cab home from his basketball game because I wasn't there to meet him. Well, Joe, it sounds to me like you waited a lot longer than you had expected to. And then you didn't get the information or respect you'd hoped for from Jessica, my assistant. And now you're pretty irritated. Um, using time efficiently is very important to you, especially in the middle of a busy work day, right? Yeah. And I imagine you might be a little bit worried about your son, too. I know how important his safety is to you. Is this partly what's going on here? Yeah, well, I, I, I just expected to be in and out of here. I didn't have to wait all this time. I guess my plans for the day are pretty well shot. So having some predictability would have been nice. Yes, exactly. Well, you know, Joe, predictability is something that I value as well. And using time efficiently is something that's really important to me. Uh, I really want to be able to give you immediate attention. Uh, and so when I hear that you are waiting around for such a long period of time without any explanation as to why that's happening, I feel a bit of disappointment and regret. As it turns out, I was just across the street at the hospital attending to uh, a delivery for a, a patient of mine. They were having an unexpected crunch in, in labor and, and delivery area. And taking care of that patient and her baby is very important to me too. I honestly had no idea how long I would be. And uh, I made the choice to take the time and go over there. Oh dear. Well, yeah, it's definitely more important than my refill. I guess I owe your receptionist an apology. Well, you know, Joe, it sounds like you're maybe feeling a little bit of regret now, thinking about how you spoke to Jessica. It's okay to feel that way. And it's also okay to feel upset when you weren't getting the predictability and the information you'd been hoping for. I do my very best to consider everyone's needs, Joe. Yours included. I agree that Jessica would appreciate it if you would acknowledge her own needs in the situation too. For all, she was doing her best to honor my patient's privacy and my own flexibility. All right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what did you need refilled? Ah. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, good.